What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm up here in Ohio visiting some of my family, and uh, today's video is actually going to be part of, uh, of this build and another one, but this is also an introduction to the website or the, uh, the YouTube channel that I'm actually creating. It's going to be called Chief's Retired Garage. It's going to be my father's, which of whom is here with me today. Uh, this is one of his newer projects that has shown up. This is a 1955, yes. you said? Uh, so 1955 Dodge panel van. And uh, without further ado, I'm, I'm going to let him talk about all this. And uh, he's got a, a mic on. We're going to follow along with the camera. So hopefully you guys enjoy this as much as I do. Come on in. Let's let's tell me about how you found this. Oh boy. Okay. So we found this on Facebook Marketplace, and uh, it's getting ready to get squashed. They're going to crush it. And the guy didn't want to crush it, so he put it on there and said, "Hey, everybody, this is going to. I'm going to sell this because it's it's um it's too complete to be sold or to be crushed." So. I was looking for parts, especially like the windshield, stuff like that. This windshield's gone. I was looking for parts and uh, we came across this. I read it, it's like, so I sent him a message. I said, I asked him a couple of questions and uh, I just found it beautiful. I said, don't crush it. I'll be there in a couple of weeks. And I can and, respect uh, that, yeah. And just, uh, I'll be there to pick it up. So we, we drove down from, from Toledo down to Kansas. K Kansas. And put it on the trailer, yeah. I saw a 14 hour drive. Slid it on the trailer and then 14 hour drive back. Actually, it's a little longer because it was slower, <laughs> but uh, we drove her back. Okay, okay. And um, and here she is. And you said this is fully complete. Is that why you this bought it? This is complete. Yeah, it's it's all here. I mean, like like it's busted up, but I got replacement parts for it. But for the most part, there's there's stuff on here that's really hard to find. Right. Found them. Cool. So this is it. Well, let's do a quick walk through. I'm gonna grab the camera and we'll do a little zip through on this. Alrighty. All right, here we go. We still on, or is this another? Yeah, we're still going. Okay, let's do this. So, start at the hood, work our way around. Now, see, I've never seen a hood like this where they open up like that. Why is this one so significant? Uh, Dodge did this. this. They're the only ones that did the split hood. The other ones did forward up, and you know, the Model A's and T's they, they collapse on the inside, but the Dodge is the only one that did this here. I think this is pretty cool, actually. And they both. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. Yeah. We'll pop the other one. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. And the center piece is a, it's pretty stable. Man, I like that emblem. So what's missing on these hoods, if you find them, is these hinges are hard to get a hold of. A lot of guys just remake them. Mm -hmm. But they, uh, they, just, they just come up and collapse. You just want to make sure that you got latched in. Otherwise, the wind will come, in and come down on your head. And the engine's all complete? The engine's all here. Uh, the carburetor was missing, but there's a story with that. But uh, it's all here. Um, it will spin over. Uh, no I, kidding. Yeah. It'll spin over. Like I, I told you yesterday, I, I tried to put it on 12-volt system, but... It's it, a 6-volt, isn't it? It's a 6-volt. This is a generator. <laughs> yeah, there's no alternator, so... So this is what turns over the engine? No, the starter is on the bench in the back. But oh, back the okay. starter goes in that hole there. Oh, and right there. yeah, I, I, in that hole right there okay. in the side. This is a uh, this is your oil filter, and um, you know, a little little distributor cap. Cool. 
You checked all the compression yet? or No, I just... started to do that when I had my 6-volt, 12-volt thing. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to, they, they said I could put a 12-volt battery in it, and it'll spin, which it did, but then it fries components. It did until it didn't. So now it doesn't fry. Now it, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't spin. So I got the 6-volt battery in it, and uh, I had to rebuild the, the voltage regulator because I, I welded the contacts together. Which, you know, I just want it to start. Once I hear it start once, then I, I'll rip her down. But um, I'll, if it starts and runs, I'm going to leave her like that and see what I can do with it. it there's no leaks in there. I don't know that. I haven't okay. been there. But like this, this is the original, the original mountings. See, I'm used to seeing so, older cars where they have the radiator cap in the center of that radiator. The center or the side, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it makes sense but, here because it's, it's offset due to the functionality of the, of the hood because of the fact that you got this bridge here you got to have this thing on the side <laughs> okay gotcha all right let's move on to okay the, uh, your door and stuff and so i have to get all new glass everything functions because uh i'm not really fond of the designs of the windows that one's got a cool design but it's gonna be really hard looking at it by design we mean the spider, spider yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's a design. That's, that's a design to, to me. <laughs> I just, uh, it's not safe to have that design. Okay, so like I can say dashboard is all there. And uh, from the other side, I'll, I'll show you. But like the glove compartment's there. The cardboard is there. I don't know if both of us can fit in here or not. But like on my, my video, if you'll see, there's a spring. Yep. Okay. That spring's always missing if this door is even still installed. But it still works. The uh, windshield wipers are run by vacuum. There's no heater in there. So I have a heater for my other truck that I'm going to move over and put in here. You're going to need a heater, especially being up here. Yeah. Hold it's on. the other truck I'm going to show, but I'm not going to drive it in the winter, so I won't need it. Does that say 110? Yes. Uh, yeah, I doubt that. I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt that. I, I just, okay. yeah, I really doubt that. Okay, okay. But it's also American. You don't see any metric in there. All gauges. Um, for the dashboard, you'll see this how the battery hump, panel. This is a battery panel. So here's my six volt battery. This is where the battery sits. <laughs> and the truck is a positive ground. So this is Mr. Red, Mr. Positive. Well, what that. do you mean by positive ground? Well, on the on the cars today, they're all negative ground. Well, this is positive ground here. On the other days, they felt that electricity ran positive to the ground, and you could fire it up from there. And then since then, they've, they've changed it to switch it over. They found that it's better if you do a, a negative ground. There's more history on that, but I wasn't going to cover that. This is uh, your high beam, low beam switch here. Okay. Today's, uh, today's cars, you have them on your, your um, turn on the signal. Column. You know, you flick, yeah. flick, flick, flick. Well, here it was tow driven, so you just step on it and your high beams pick up. That's your high beam, low beam. That's high beam, low beam right switch. There. And then, then that's your, your clutch. Your brake is in the middle. Clutch. That's the gas pedal. Brake. Go pedal. Yes. And then let me in here a second. I'll show you. <laughs> okay. So. so now look a little closer. So go back to the gas pedal. It's just a regular gas pedal, pushes the bar, bar moves another bar, spring loaded to the carburetor. It's all mechanical. Right. Just above, I didn't tell you about this, just above the gas pedal, there's another uh, bar. It comes out with a little pad on it. It looks like a valve. That wow. is a starter bar or your starter pedal. Wait, oh, I'm sorry, what? It's not a key start. It is a starter. So that's your starter. Yes. You just push it with your foot? Yes. And away so it goes. Come over here. This is new. I've never seen that okay. before. That's the other end of it right there, okay? And then that touches the solenoid on top of the starter. So when you step on that pedal, that pushes down on the solenoid and the solenoid kicks over and starts it. Keep your eye on that. So it won't start, so don't make... What the? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Yeah. That yeah. is so weird and cool at the same time. You step on that, you step on it and hold it, and it'll start, then the engine starts, then you let up and you engine. It's not a key start. I did not know. I actually have, that. I have a uh, a brand new. It's an OEM ignition for this. I just got that. I had to get that from uh, Maine. So yeah, that's that, that's your the, starter. 
What's that little round cap on the floor? Round cap here. This is your brake. Let's pop it up. This is to check, check your brake fluid for your master cylinder. No way. Yeah. So your brake system was down there. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. So on my, my other truck, I'm moving that up up on top. Okay. Yeah, because you're using the Dakota frame. Yeah. Okay, so... Which we're going to cover that later on today. Uh, it's three on the tree, so this is your stick shift. See, you know, I've never worked with a three on the tree. Oh, you will. You will. I get it running. You're, you got to take it for a run. Awesome. So, yep. Yeah, but it's just your basic three on the tree. There's nothing special here. Uh, glass. Oh, yeah. This one's, this one's broken. Yeah, this one doesn't have the glass. That one's got it, but it's that got design. It's designed. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, six hundred dollars out of Amazon, and I'll get uh, not Amazon, but um, okay, I'll get fuel cap down here. Fuel cap. I haven't <laughs> been. I haven't even had this off yet. I don't know if it'll come off yet, but this will be the first time. I'll off. drill it. No, I'm no. gonna drill it. <laughs> so, and if uh, this tank is trash, I have a replacement trash or a replacement tank for it. And what do they use these vans for? Back in the day. Ugh. Pardon the junk, but it's not junk, actually. All right, so this is a... Ah, oh, damn it, didn't want to do that. Okay, so this is a town panel truck. And the other version of this was a uh, town wagon. A panel truck is like your delivery truck, like your new Amazons that are coming through and dropping off the stuff daily here. Right. Um, but these were the delivery vans then. So... These weren't meant for the long haul. It's just meant for like bread trucks and milk trucks and stuff like that. Just smaller package to, to uh, deliver. The town wagons, these are all windows on the sides. And you put multiple, multiple rows of seats and it becomes your suburban. <laughs> so this is pre-suburban, huh? That's pre-suburban, yeah. <laughs> But this is the town panel, so this is uh, it's, it's all cool. Yes, this was rattling, and they just got tired. Yeah, somebody stuck carpeting in there to keep it from <laughs> rattling. So how change all that? Look at the carpeting in the ceiling. <laughs> but this is it's it's all here. So it's got the wooden deck. Okay, this is plywood. This has been replaced, and see you can see some are stove bolts and some are Phillips screws. Okay, so this has been replaced. But I'm pulling this panel out, and I'm going to go back to the original. Uh, be smaller, smaller decking. Some guys put plywood in there. Some guys, you know, fill it back in steel. I'm going to go back to the original decking. I'm not going to work this truck. It's just for show when it's done. I don't know what they were pulling on. Yeah. But <laughs> so I sent a message to uh, DMV in Kansas. <laughs> I took pictures. And I said, I asked, you know, could you please, I'm, I'm looking for the title or the owner or the history of this. Ohio is not, not a problem to get a title for it. But I'd like to see the history of this and what it did. Man, you got to replace the... Yeah, more design here. Oh. I guess they ran out of maybe change their mind here in design. These are laminated windows. Two, two sheets of glass with uh, the, a laminated plastic of that time in there. And in time, it, it ages. Then the seal breaks and it just starts to decay going upwards. And you'll see it happened on the windshield up there. I noticed that, yeah. Okay, it, it just ages in, in that. So so it's not just, it's more of their safety idea at the time. What's that center handle in the middle? That would be your brake. This one right here. A lot of what, emergency brake? Yeah, yeah. That's and all that does is the actual braking system for that. Uh, it's you got the drive shaft that comes up to the back of the transmission, and I'll show you later. You know that transmission in the back, that four speed. Uh, There's a clutching system on the front of the the back of the transmission that that uh, grabs the the drive shaft. So when you apply that, it doesn't it doesn't apply brakes to these back wheels. It grabs it to the drive shaft so it doesn't spin. And all the handles, you know, like I said, it's all here. The hinges, they're all original. They're they're all here. They're all in functioning condition. Um, I get this handle is missing, so I got this out of um, uh, Minnesota. We well, get parts Minnesota, everywhere, don't you? Oh yeah, 
man. <laughs> on our uh, on the Facebook, you go here, you can find parts. Like tail light, I got two tail lights here. That one's missing. One's a left. One's a right. Oh, that's right. And uh, I I may put when I redo the wheels, I may put a second light here, so you'll have a the brake and a turn signal. I okay. may do that. I just have to you know purchase another set of lights. You got new wheels for this yet? Not <laughs> yet. These, oh man, these well, are bad looking. I got temporary wheels, but I don't think they're going to be permanent. Did these come with the truck? No, no. These these wheels came with my first Dodge when I bought it in 08. In 08. I took them off and I stacked them up and put them beside the garage, and there they were to rot because I just didn't. I was too lazy to throw them away. And then when I bought this, the tires were all flat and tore up. And for that reason, I took these off the back of the garage. I was just hoping for one minute's worth of air so I could move it. <laughs> and they've been up ever since. These so there they are. All right. My yeah. God. I don't anticipate driving on them. I've but never seen. He's it's, a Cooper. It's good to make him a roller. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever buy Coopers, at least you know that if they're that dry rot, they're still going to hold You'll air. get 30, 40 years out of it. <laughs> You'll get 30 or 40 years out of the tire. So don't let discount tire or Firestone lie to you. <clears throat> so the trim panel, you'll see this This has chrome trim here. All right. These these are um, very rare to grab a hold of and find. I have to have that one uh, restored. Get it rolled back out. I've got, I got both of these on... on um, well, both of these came with it, but this one here, I've only got the one. So I'm looking for this one piece. So I scour the United States through marketplace and through junkyards. And in time, I will find a second piece. So if anybody out there knows where to find these pieces, please let us know. We want to find out. And we will we'll buy it. <laughs> we need it. So, oh, yeah, that's right. And the seats are in the back. <laughs> Here's your, here's your special design window. <laughs> it still functions, everything. Man, that's just, that's crazy. It's all together. It's all here. And it's in such good shape, con you know, considering it's got rust on it. Yeah, it's it's got a couple of <clears throat> pinholes in there, but that's that's nothing to, to patch up. But um, other than that, I'm, she's going to stay original. I'm going to try to keep it the same color. I was going to send you the link to uh, to do the patina. You got yourself a little wasp nest up in here. They're going to have to get evicted. <laughs> they even come with dome lights. That'll be. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, fun fact: If you look at the dashboard, these were these trucks were built so they could go over in Europe as well. Over in Europe, they drive on the right side. Right. So everything there can actually be transferred over here. No kidding. Yes. Oh, that it is symmetrical. Yes. Okay. You see that where it's all punched out in the floor? Yes. Those punches. And that's cool. If you look at the if you look at the frame, the brake system. The same mountings are over here, steering, all that can be re reversed and set over here. That's cool. So, yeah, <laughs> that's reversed. That so is really cool. Uh, these mirrors are, are rare. Some guys take them off because they don't like them. Because when you're running, it vibrates. You know, so if, if you're not running or sitting still, it's going to sit there and vibrate like you're on a motorcycle. So, it's just uh, all shaken up. Somebody attempted to do one of the newer things here, so I gotta close that up. Here's a fun fact for you. Not that. Uh, Door lock. It's only on the passenger side. Why is it on the passenger side? Because in their thought is when they pull over, when you come up, it's dangerous to enter your vehicle on, on the road and try to unlock your car. So right. they, they want your passengers to come over here, they unlock this door to get in. It's not, there's no door locks on the driver's doors. So you just like unlock this and crawl. You in unlock that and crawl in. Slide across. Unlock that and go around. <laughs> yeah, fun fact. I'll do this so I don't run into it with a mower. Right. 
<clears throat> man, you gotta fix these doors, man. Yeah, if it um, look like the doors like no, open. what happened is these are missing. If you look here, it hits the panel. No, if you look here, where's that? It's missing. Is but there's it? there's a bar and, and all the cars have them still, but it attaches here. There's a pin and it stops. It goes in this hole. So when you close it, that bar slides in here, but it stops stops your door so far. Okay, so if your wind that. picks up, that's where it stops. Well, when those are gone, that happens. this this gets driven into it like that, which is not supposed to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, don't remove them. They're there for a purpose. Wow. Man, I'm just blown away that you you found this. This what is this? That's the air conditioner. Yeah. Oh, hey, they had AC. Yeah. They just it's, open a vent and not open. AC. Yeah, we open that vent. <laughs> so they're scratching the microphone. <laughs> we need AC. Hurry up! We need AC. And boom! Now you have AC. <laughs> but uh, and it came with. Does it have one or two? <laughs> Your these are missing. What's up? No, that one's. That one's missing. That one's blanked off. That actually has no arm to it and nothing there. Oh. So uh, they did that. Was that like a standard thing? or They did that to cut cost when they were selling them. So this only had one wiper blade. I mean, we only need one, right? No, I'm going to put two. I have two. I bought two. Those came out of, um, oh, come on, Sacramento, California. Yeah. Uh, Mike's Automotive. I see you've been working on the carb. That's awfully clean compared to the rest of the engine. What kind of engine is this anyway? It is, um, I don't know the history of it. I really never, I just know it's a six cylinder, flathead, uh, one barrel. With and six. Yeah. You got your work cut out for you, especially with this engine. Yeah, you see how they, this is how they bypass the heater. Yeah, goes in, goes out, comes in, goes out, because there's no heater. Can you install one? Yeah, I will. I've got I've got one that came out of the other truck. Y'all go put that in here. I would install one, especially living here in Ohio. So, well, they're they're rare if they do work. I'm. Did you see like you were talking talk about the punch outs? The steering column will come through here. There's, there's they got, yeah, they got the mounting holes here and yep. on the side for the steering. Okay. So everything there can get moved over here. Not that I want to do that. Where's your motor mounts? This one's gone. Where do you think it is? is it? Well, I know about transmission mounts. I'm used to modern vehicles, Dad. It looks like there's one no. there, which would be two on the back. But so where's the one on the front? You keep looking. Where? where? No. They're up here. They're on the front. It's being held up right here. That's crazy. Why is it like that? That's a motor mount. That's a motor mount? Yes. Rubber pad here, another bracket that's, that bolts onto the front of the motor, the engine. So it's, it's supported by the front of the engine and then by the, the rear transmission. And then they sit on the frame. So it's held That's on the it. front, it's held yeah. on the back, and not in the middle. Nothing in the back. I wonder why they did it that way. Yeah, if this takes you up, even the V8s do the same thing, the Hemis. They do the same thing. Very, very cool. So you want to see what motor mount look like. That is weird, but cool. Man, I sure hope you guys like this, because this is just really, really awesome. And look at the front end on that. It just looks. <laughs> <clears throat> and that's basically everything. Drum brakes all around, right? It's, yeah. It's <laughs> just got brake shoes. All right. So. 
It's um, down the other truck. I went straight disc brake, but this one here, it's all drum, and I'm just going to keep them drum. So I have to keep learn. I have to learn how to get back into these again. Okay. They were never fun taking off. You have to beat the shit out of them to do that. <laughs> but they're. Uh, what are you going to do with these frame horns? I'm. Uh, they're all bent as shit. What I happened? could straighten them out. But I found somebody that has another frame, and he's going to throw it away. So I'm going to have him just cut the frame horns off, and I'm going to just weld new ones on and not even worry about that. It's it's easier to glue new ones on there than to sit there and beat on those get them out. You know, these almost look like they're supposed to be this way. The curvature on this? Oh, no. It's the same? It no. looks like it. It's the same. I got straight side. ones in the, in the garage, but that's that's not like it how it's supposed to be. So somebody had wrapped something around it. How do, you, how do we close this? Uh, uh, nope. It's a two-hander. Ah. 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 Such labor and effort. Push it down. So here, so here, throw this back in there. Open that up a second. What's up? All the way up. What's wrong with it? Your name plates. Oh. So like your VIN number, that's what they would use for the VIN number. It's just a vehicle ID number. They weren't really crazy about having uh, uh, VIN numbers on titles back then. This has several several numbers to it. There's, um, yeah, you would go by this VIN number to see what it is. Come on, girl. Good old fashioned slam it. There you you should have. If you don't slam it, it's not close. You should have. Oh, uh, it's not there. Usually there's a. A plate here on the inside of the door. Yeah. yeah, it's it's usually a plate that sits right here. They and moved then, it from there to well, there's, the inside. There's, it just depends here. on where it was made and how. Yeah, and then um, behind this wheel on that frame, you can't see it. You have to use like sandpaper and go straight to, to bare metal. But in that area, there's a serial number on the frame. They etched it in. Yeah. Yeah, it's punched in. That's cool. And that's a serial number to the frame. And that will tell you, along with that, this number on the paperwork, it'll tell you what year it is, where it came from, and what it's really supposed to have in it. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The 1955 Dodge Panel Van. Not half bad. How much you pay for this? Uh, 1500 No kidding. Yeah. That is good. That is really good. <sighs> Man, I like this. This is, this is going to be a good project. What are you going to do with the paint? Uh, I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to keep the patina. Go keep this. Yeah, I just got to, I got to learn how to do it, but you just got to see how it's flaky. Yeah. You sand it to where it's, it's it looks like this, where it's just uh, all feathered in. And then you... You take a uh, patina. Some people use linseed oil. I don't. I don't go for that. But it's like a clear coat, and you just wipe the clear coat on, and uh, let it dry, and it looks like it's wet all the time. And some of them look good, and some of them look like crap. It just uh, <laughs> it just depends. I was still on the fence about, it, but I, I think I want to keep this with patina because that's the original blue. This is a blue that's that's inside sprayed inside. So. Really? That's that's all original there. I'm not a fan of that color though. It's, hey, <laughs> it's, it's blue though, but sorry. Keep it original. I yeah. like that. Well, that's pretty much it about this, or at least on this project. Yeah, I've got a few others that I want to show you guys later on today. Uh, my side of the family up here, they like to work on older vehicles and restore things, such as my dad. He likes doing this. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much going to be it for this part of the video. Stay tuned for the next one because I got. I can roll the window up. Yep. Yeah. He's got to roll the window up. Um, he has uh, his 55 Dodge truck inside the garage, which we're going to cover that in the next video. And then, uh, or at least later on in this part of the video. And that one is a. It, it's kind of like a Frankenstein truck, frankly. It's a, it's a 55 Dodge truck on a 2004? 2004 Dakota. 2004 drive. Dakota frame and the engine for that too so it's it's kind of cool what he did to it so yeah stay tuned for that and uh then after all this 
I have one more vehicle, I want, two more vehicles I want to show you on my uncle's behalf. He's got uh, two Impalas I wanted to show you. So we'll get to that here in a little bit. But uh, that's that's pretty much a wrap for today's video on this one. Uh, if you guys happen to like this one, please like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. And uh, just let us know what you think about this. And uh, any ideas that uh, that you want to see happen with this. Uh, I will also show you guys a little bit of the intro here at the end of this video of the intro for his channel, which I'm currently in the process of building. So uh, again, his YouTube channel is gonna be called Chiefs Retired Garage. Yeah. And Chiefs Retired and trying to keep Chiefs it as vintage as so. possible. So again, hopefully you guys like the channel and this video and I'll see you guys later. Y'all take it easy. I love you. Goodbye.